So I'm a member of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. My faith played such a crucial role in the path that led me to become a writer and in the choice of the kind of things I write. One of the hard things about being a young writer or a young creator is as you get good at creating, you can create anything. I would experiment with stuff that sometimes felt kind of dark. You know, like I would tell stories where kind of the point of the story was the main character was going to die in a horrible way. And the fact that I could make that adrenaline spike moment in a story was the only reason I was writing. I have a testimony. If you make yourself available, the Lord will lead you to use your best talents in cool ways. He'll lead you to do things better than you could do if you just trusted luck in your own native intellect. If you want to prosper according to your genius, you can do that. But if you will lean on God, he will let you do much more than, than your natural talents would have allowed because he'll, he'll organize things where you'll kind of be in the right place at the right time and he'll help things develop in a way that you just couldn't have planned on, on your own. As people who are disciples of Christ, who, who know him, it's so important that what we put out into the world has light in it. And, and I'll tell you the truth, I pray over every book I write that I can find ways, I can find ways to put some light in it. Because with fiction, we're making up a story, right? The story's made up, but we can use fiction to say true things, even in a made up story, right? Like Stephen King has a pretty famous quote, fiction is the truth inside the lie. And, and though we make up a story, you can sometimes say really true things about courage or bravery or truth, or, you know, all sorts of stuff about human nature, about the human heart. I, I still get to write stories that have action in them, that have scary parts in them, that have funny parts in them. It, it's okay to have darkness in a story, that's okay. It's about what are the characters doing against that darkness, right? And I would say for you, make sure as a creator of content, that you think really hard about how, how proud you are to have your name associated with that content. Is it the kind of content where you, could, where you feel good in front of your kids that your name's on that content? Or feel good in front of your, your best friend that your name's on that content? Or feel good in front of your savior that your name's on that content? Because... At first, it seems like the only thing that mattered was just getting something published. And then guess what? After you get some stuff published and have some success at it, you, you much more go, yeah, what am I publishing? What am I putting out there into the world? Is it doing good or, or is it not? And, and I'll tell you that, that as I've been more and more serious about asking the Heavenly Father to help me put light into any story I, I write, I always find ways. There's always ways to tell almost any story I can think of or that I would want to tell and have some light or some goodness um, be part of that story so that the overall impact of the story can have some positive takeaways. You know, even if it's fairly scary or, or uh, adventurous or, or whatever I'm trying to do. I feel really grateful that I was first published at Shadow Mountain. I was encouraged there to write kid-friendly stories and that helped me really zero in on this concept. Um, I think God had me start there partly so that I would zero in on this concept of, of writing stories that had some light in them. No matter who I write for, no matter who my publisher is, I've been published with Scholastic and Simon and Schuster. In addition to um, Shadow Mountain, I, I always try to make sure my story has some light in it, and that's just according to my own judgment, right? If you are serious about wanting to be successful in life in any capacity, and especially successful as a creator, um, don't forget to have like the master creator on your side. He's, he's the best there is at it. As you pursue being a good writer, you can succeed in. In, in learning things that will help you be a better writer. Um, and sometimes that's to the detriment of other aspects of your life. Because when we, when we hyper-focus on most things, it's to the detriment of other parts of our life. But I promise you that if you focus on coming to Christ and focus on making him the center of your life, that elevates everything else, including your writing. And for me, to the degree that I've been really serious about trying to take up some of his invitations, like to work out my own salvation with fear and trembling before him, to try to know that he's accepting my offering of discipleship and that, and that he's accepting the covenant that I'm making, that, 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 I'm, that, that I made with my baptism. As I get closer to him, I feel his help in my work and I feel my, my capacity increase. And so I will testify that if you want to be successful as a writer, stay close to the Savior. And I'll, uh, I'll, I'll say that actually in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen.